boop, 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 boop. Link, you walk so funny backwards. Okay, that's just annoying. Let's... Which way am I going? Anyway, to get to Kakariko Village, we haven't really been anywhere except the castle now. I'll explain it. Um, pretty much you gotta cross this bridge and go up those stairs. You can also go up that little ledge right there and jump off. And you'll end up right next to those stairs. So, that's pretty much it. There's a river that this bridge crosses, which leads to Zora's River, but the current goes this way. So if you jump in it, you're pretty much gonna end up over here no matter what. So, uh, that's, you know, just some info. I don't think there's a Skulltula in that tree. We'll check, though. Why not? Anyway, what time are we at? Oh my god, 11 minutes. Well, I guess we'll just make this two videos. Anyway, we're moving on into Kakariko Village. Kakariko Village. Kakariko Village. Oh man, we're going to have to go back to Kokiri Forest in a little while, too. But this place is really cool. Probably my favorite place in the game. Just because it's, there's so much stuff to do, and it's a nice, quaint little town. Is it nighttime? Eh, it still counts as nighttime. Damn it, I want it to be daytime. I think there's a Skulltula in this tree right here. Yes, there is. Kill that little fucker. Alright, you're dead. Yay. You get a gold Skulltula. You get a token. Blah, blah, blah. Alright, so. Let's see what else we can't do here in Kakariko Village. Kakariko Village. So this is actually the Skulltula house, um, where you go claim your prizes. And there's actually, ironically, a Skulltula on the Skulltula house. So kill him. There's actually like about six or seven gold Skulltula, Skulltulas, here in Kakariko Village. There's quite a lot. So we'll, we should be easily able to get ten. I mean, we already have, what, nine? Yeah, we've already got nine. We only need to get one more right now. So let's head up here. Whoop, yeah. You make some weird sounds, Link. Because technically it's almost dawn, but uh, it's still night, considered nighttime here in the village, so that's why all the, these spiders won't show up during the daytime, the skull to us. They'll only show up during the night, so that's why they're still here, because it's barely still nighttime. It's just about to break dawn. So then also, oh, I just remembered where another one is. This ladder right here on this lookout tower. Skulltula way up there, you can't hear him, but you can see him. Alright, so let's climb up there and get him. Let's get him. Let's get him. And... Okay, we got a gold Skulltula, and token proving we destroyed it. Oh, we're, we're three quarters of the way up here, might as well check what's up here. Uh, yeah, there's another gold Skulltula on that roof, can't get that now. Oh god, this town just has so much to do. And you can actually see that guy over there on that roof. Um, he gives you a heart piece, but you're not supposed to get that till much, much later in the game. But I know there's a way you can get it right now. I just don't remember how. There's a trick you gotta do off of this, like... Oh, did we do it? Yes. Yes, you're supposed to... Oh my god, I can't believe I did that on the first try. You do that little side jump and you land on that gate here, and then you climb up on the roof. So let's talk to him. Hey, good to see you again, brother. I'll give you this as a memento. Wow, he just looks like some guy from the 70s that just came back from uh, Woodstock. You got a piece of heart. Alright. To get a good view, yeah, we know. Anyway, so that's our what? Second piece of heart? Yep. And we've got 11 skull tulas. Oh man, I didn't want to save. Oh well. Yeah, saving takes a bit longer on the GameCube version. Anyways, now that we get... Oh, I just remembered where another Skulltula was. Man. We are just doing some totally unexpected Skulltula hunting. Yep, you can hear it. There it is, right here on this piece of bricks. You can kill that with your sword if you get up here, but then there's a chance of hitting you. Alright, so now we got 12. We got more than enough, so let's head into the Skulltula house. Rot here. And... Talk to this weird spider human man. We look like this because the spider's cursed, but since you've destroyed 12 spiders of the curse, the curse is starting to weaken. Did the kids? Yeah, yeah. Basically, he'll just tell you that they're all cursed, and the more spiders you get, the more in you unlock. And we've gotten 10 so far, so we freed this guy from the curse. The curse has been broken. Thank you. Here's a reward for you. We get the adult's wallet. Sweet. 
You can now hold a lot of money. You can hold up to 200 rupees. That's so helpful, you don't even know. 200 rupees now instead of 99 is the maximum. So, that's good. Um, the, we don't get another good prize for hunting skull tulas in quite a while, actually. So, oh, we might as well be happy about that now while we still can. Uh, Alright, I can't think of any more skull tulas, actually. Uh, the next thing I can think of that... Or, you know what? Let's go up here. I got a quicker way that we can make it daytime instead of leaving Kakariko and coming back. Let's go up here where we were earlier and talk to this. These two, these are shops actually. We'll probably go in those in a little while. Talk to this guard right here. The road is closed beyond this point. Can't you read the sign over there? Eh. Oh, I see. You're just a kid. Well, and you can't read yet. Haha. <laughs> you know what? I can read. You bastard. You better watch out, I got a sword, bro. Alright, so all you gotta do here is show him your letter from Princess Zelda. Oh, this is this is surely Princess Zelda's handwriting. Well, let's see. Hmm, okay. This is the scope. He is under my orders to save Hyrule. <laughs> what kind of funny game has our princess come up with now? Okay, okay, alright. You can go now. Just be careful, Mr. Hero. <laughs> Yeah, real funny, but you let me pass, didn't you? Yeah. Look at that letter just twirling in Link's hand. By the way, Mr. Hero, if you're going to climb Death Mountain, you should equip a proper shield. It is an active volcano, after all. No. With a name like Death Mountain, funny you'd even let a kid go. If you go back to Hyrule Castle Town Market, you should check out the bazaar. They sell the shield you need there. Tell them I sent you, and they should give you a discount. Special discount. If you think you're good to go already, don't worry about it. Now I'd like to ask a favor of you. No, I don't expect you to do it just because of the great tip I just gave you. I'm just asking. Oh, have you been to the happy mask shop that just opened in Hyrule Castle? Uh, everyone is talking about it. My little boy pesters me for a popular mask, but I don't have it. Yeah, basically. Can we skip what you're talking? Uh, the next time you're in the market, if you don't feel like it, then you can pick it up, and, well, I got no choice, and this is my job, and, yeah. Anyways, basically what he's telling you is, in the Happy Mask Shop, he wants you to pick up a mask for him there, and he'll buy it off you. And, also, you can get a discount at the shop he's talking about in the Hyrule Town Market. And, um... What am I thinking? Or, you know what, there is something we can still do now that it's nighttime. I forgot. But anyway, um, yeah, he does give you a discount on the Hylian Shield, which is originally 80 rupees, and I think now, with that discount, he'll sell it to you for 60 rupees. But, um, we can get one for free back here, in the graveyard. So, this little area leads back to the graveyard. Uh, oh, yes, graveyard, or graveyard, should I say, there's no the. So if you come here during the daytime, there'll be a little kid around here, and uh, he won't let you mess with the graves, because uh, he'll say, Dompy the Gravekeeper will get mad at you, and if you come at a certain time of night, right when it just turns nighttime, Dampy the Gravekeeper will actually be here, so you can't move the graves still. However, if you come when neither of them are here, you can move the graves, and I believe it's behind this one with the leaves in front of it, and you move it and drop down in it. Oh, wait, what is this? No, nope, this isn't the right place, but what the hell. We'll check out what this is. Oh, yes it is! You got the Hylian Shield. Switch the equipment subscreen and select this shield, then equip it with A. Okay, so this is the place. Basically, you come in here, you just drop in here, and you get a free Hylian Shield. Um, and that door is bombable, but we don't have bombs, so pretty much useless. So yeah, there's your way to get a free Hylian Shield. But we're not going to equip it just yet, because... It's too big for Link, he can't actually block with it like he can with the Deku Shield. Um, there's actually something else I want to do here in the graveyard. Uh, but it takes quite a bit of time. You know, looking at that, it's raining, isn't that great? Anyway, pretty much, um, it involves this Triforce symbol right here, which is the sign of the royal family, so if we play Zelda's lullaby here, something might happen. But we're going to do that next time, and let's play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye, everybody.